Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2019 Chevy Trax and on the Chevy Trax we have our check engine light on and we are going to check what that check engine light is telling us. There are various sensors on your vehicles and uh, the sensors will be able to give you an indication of what may or may not be wrong or the sensor could have just gone bad itself. So we will check what it's telling us is potentially wrong and then the first is to start with replacing the sensor and then once you replace the sensor and if the code still comes back on well then you're gonna have to look into something deeper but we'll start with checking and seeing what it is so we have our you can uh, scanner hooked up um, to our OBD2 port and then we have this is the main home screen we're gonna go into diagnostic and then we can either pick from all or American, depending on what vehicle you are. So this is a GM product. Then we can do smart VIN or manual select. We'll do smart VIN. This is gonna bring up what the car is via the connection. And that's correct. And then we're you can do quick scan, which will scan every mo module, or we're just gonna do control modules because we know we just wanna check the engine control module at this time and then we have reach number one is the engine control module and then it's asking which, which motor we have we have the 1.4 liter this is an automatic four-wheel drive it's not equipped with the start stop uh, diagnose trouble codes then we want to see the whatever that trouble code is and so we have a P0365-00. It's the exhaust camshaft position sensor circuit. So you're going to have two camshaft position sensors on this vehicle, one that's in the exhaust side and one that's on the intake side. So we have the P0365, which is on the exhaust side. And so we will go check that sensor, replace the sensor, come back clear the code and then make sure that it doesn't come on immediately and then you'll still have to drive for a week or so and double check whether that um, comes back on so around here on the front this has got the 1.4 liter ecotech motor in it and this is our exhaust side uh, being the, this is where the uh, um, exhaust pipe comes out and the intake side so we know that our sensor is going to be on this side somewhere and it's actually right down below this. So we'll just remove this, undo this nut here a bit to loosen that, and then we can unhook this connection as well as the one that's down here. And then we can pull this off and gain better access to the sensor that we are looking to replace. These are just a size seven millimeter to be able to loosen up this clamp. With both clamps uh, loosened, then we can be able to get down in here and see this sensor here is what we're looking for. So this is a E socket that we need and it's an E10. And so we'll get the E10. So we removed the, uh, the E10, and now 